Hello, today we're going to blow things up with P array. Not a regular bomb, but something called P array, which is a particle array. And then we'll throw out the mesh of the ship in different directions, which is a good explosion. Now I have a regular object, here's the mesh, and I'll add a particle system to this. And that's P array. Doesn't matter how big you make it. And if I just play it, nothing much happens. And <laughs> so I have to link it to something. Now with the PRA selected, you pick an object. And I'll click this right here. And there it is, it's selected. So if I play it, the particles are coming out literally from the object. Now I'll adjust this a little bit so that it comes out in the viewport and I can see the mesh. And I have to have the particle generation the way I want it. And let's start the explosion about frame 10. And the emitter stop, let's just bring that way up. Display until, bring that way up too, otherwise your particles will vanish, your pieces of the ship will vanish. Same thing with life, just bring all that up. Don't want any variation in that, you don't want anything vanishing in front of your eyes. And down in the particle type, we want object fragments so it's actually blowing the thing up, as you can see. So it's actually shattering apart. Now there's another thing we could do to make chunks of it. This is totally blown apart into small triangles. But down here you can control that number of chunks. So let's set it to number of chunks, and it actually pieces together chunks of your object. So we can bring this down, let's set it to 100, we can bring this down or up, and here's a dramatic change to 25, and it blows up in pieces. Let's make that about 45 and see what it looks like. There we go, 45 looks pretty good. So all we have left to do is adjust different things like spin and so forth. Now a lot of different controls are here. Spin time, set this pretty small to start with. Let's set it for like 0.2, see what happens and the particles start to spin a bit as they break Look, 0.2 to start with eh, 2 then the particles start to spin too much, let's try a 0.2 back, alright see if it'll accept this, 0.2 it's not accepting that, okay to go for a 1 how about a 0.5 nope, how about a 1, alright let's see what happens with a 1 blows up, starts to rotate a bit Good. If we do a two, it's a way too much and stuff. Okay, let's just do a one. Variation percent. Let's do fifty percent. See what we get. And some of the part, the particles start rotating away, as you can see, which is really really good. Variation is locked at that. You've already got it up here. And if we can play with it, interparticle collisions. So if one bumps into another, uh, let's change the speed a little bit here. You want some variation in the speed. And here we are. The speed with which it blows up. Let's slow that down if I want to. Because that's <laughs> a bit slow. Looks like it's just shedding its skin. Bring that up. As you can see I'm just playing with this. Alright, for example, do it fairly slow, about like that. Variation in the speed helps it look a bit better. Let's try about 20%. Okay, divergence, bring this up, different angles, and that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so I have this thing exploding. Remember the display in tone life is way up high. But something happens. If I do an F9 here, we can see, oops, set it for over here. Let's see what I've got. Set it for that. And if I hit an F9, I have the ship. Which is great, but it's going to go and blow up. The trouble is, we still see the ship. So the ship blows up, and that's no good because, well, the ship blows up and it's still there. It's kind of strange. So keeping in mind that we've got it blowing up about frame 10. So frame 10, it starts to detonate, and the pieces start to come out. So we're going to set things up a bit. We're going to edit, first choose it. 
So when that ship is selected, make sure you've got that selected. Edit Object Properties. I want to set it up, I believe it's in General Renderable Visibility. Okay, Visibility is 1, which is fine. And I want to set this up to start making keyframes for Auto Up, for Auto Key, right there, and up through frame 9, the Auto Key. Now frame 10, I'm going to change this. So Edit, Object Properties, in frame 10, bring the visibility down to 0 and hit OK and set the key. Take off Auto Key and it should work. Let's see what we get now. Boom. Oh, see how it fades? You don't want it fading out. So what we can do is set this over here for an Auto Key and set that. The Edit Object Properties, set it to 1 right there because it was slowly going down from frame 0. So we have it set for 1 here and key it. Alright, take that key off. That should work, and boom, something blows up and vanishes. So that's what we're after. Good. Now we have the ship actually detonating, <laughs> and the main ship is gone, so the particles replace it. Particles take the place of the mesh if we render it. Let's go ahead and render this. And there it is, our main ship is gone. So that's exactly what we're after. Now we need to worry about the color of things. We have a green ship blowing up into blue parts, so that doesn't make any sense. So let's apply some materials here. We'll go over to the basic materials and just start with something. Pick a color. All right, we'll do this kind of. Yeah, we'll do a green ship. Okay, so I have a bright green ship, just for ease of viewing. And we want to have our array be the same color. The particles in the array be the same color. So we'll go down here. Not in just the display, but we actually want the rendering. So keep going. Material mapping and get materials from the picked emitter. If you do get materials from that, it turns into that. So you get materials from the picked emitter, you do have to click that afterwards, and you've got it. So let's see what we have slowly scrubbing through. Ship totally blows up. It's actually there, but it's invisible now. You see the particles flying off. It's way better than a regular bomb because you have pieces of the ship actually detonating and blowing up. And you can control that pretty much any way you want to. There's no fire or flame yet, but you've got pieces falling away. Oh, and if you want to change it, uh, there's somewhere in here a seed. I think it's back toward the top. And the seed is the randomness. So you hit new, and it'll change the shape of the explosion. Let's see if we have anything flying toward the camera this time. Nope. I'll hit new. Nope. 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 Yeah, that's better. Have something flying toward the camera. Nice and dramatic. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And I'm going to keep that. When it's done, <laughs> a little piece flying forever. So when it's done, you've got a really nice movie. Have fun blowing things up.